introduction of a new firm and what happened demand for the products fall and their profit decline when new firm come to the market with this entry condition because you are enjoying economic profit so others want to also enjoy they come to the market they steal away your customer your product demand shift to the left when shift to the left your profit start declining your price also start declining so you will be earning less profit short run economic losses are there it encourages firm to go for exits what does it mean it means price is less than every total cost some cannot survive in the market and what happen they go out from the market all right so those firm those exit the market what will happen their customer will now will now be your customers right so overall when firm go out from the market exit from the market so number of products offered decrease because those firms who exit the market they are not producing the the product so number of product decreases plus increases demand faced by the remaining firms why because that market share that the exiting firm had it will be spread with the existing firms already in the market so their demand increases so all those who are enjoying losses now price will be equal to or becoming greater than every total cost by leaving one or two firms on the market so this shifts the demand of the product to the right of the existing you know firms and profit start increasing so a monopolistic competitive firm chooses its price and quantity just like monopoly in short run <clears throat> so what we have learned from here we have learned from here the behavior of monopoly monopolistically competitive firm in short run is just like monopoly but just one difference is that monopoly does not have losses while monopolistically competitive firm does have loss right if you saw our video we talked about over there because you are only one sole provider of the good you are monopoly so you will always charge the price above your every total cost and above your mc so that is why for a longer period of time you will enjoy economic profits so in monopoly we didn't see the loss condition but here because there are many firms in monopolistically competitive firm so firm can have economic losses all right so the short run scenario is that it behave like monopoly so what is the analysis then the profit analysis in short run it exactly like the monopoly so what did we learn from the monopoly what are its revenue curves mr sorry what are the monopoly revenue curves price and marginal revenue so same formula price is equal to average revenue but price is not equal to marginal revenue in case of monopoly and remember price always greater than marginal revenue in monopoly so it means price curve will be higher price curve will be higher while the mr curve will be below the price curve or demand curve so what are the cost structures cost are the same so the
average total cost and marginal marginal cost is like that so where we need to produce we need to produce where mc is equal to mr here so that would be our q max in order to produce qmax what should be the price price is on the price line and this is the price at what will be our quantity so what will be our cost cost is on the cost line every total cost this is every total cost and this is called proper this rectangular shape a b c and d point d is called basically the proper so let's see a very nice diagram here so we have two revenue curves demand and marginal revenue we have two cost curve so where we need to to produce where mc cuts the mr at its minimum so uh, so where mc cuts the mr here so to produce you max quantity what is the price price is on the price line so that is the price what is the quantity to produce and what is the cost of those quantity produce cost is on the cost line here so this rectangular shape is called profit see profit any question up till now Oliver, Nana, Lancelot, no. Venetia, Marco, Pavarun, Priscilla, Oliver. No question. Okay. Now, okay, but we talked about that. So this is the same like monopoly. But remember, monopoly cannot have loss. but monopolistically competitive firm does have loss so this is the condition what is the loss condition when price is less than average total cost means so that would be the price line that is the mr let me do the different color and remember mr is always less than the price okay and that would be the average total cost and that is the mc so where we need to produce Remember this condition: loss is when price is less than every total cost. So every total cost curve is less than the price, right? So where we need to produce, we need to produce where M C is equal to M R here. So that would be max Q max. So remember, the other side of the coin is minimum loss. Maximum profit means minimum loss. so in this condition we are having a loss yes but how loss is minimized when we produce where mc is equal to mr so what is the price of producing this quantity price is on the price line here sorry not here price is on the price line and that is here this will be the price 
and what is the cost? Cost is on the cost line. That should be the this rectangular shape. loss and remember we had said that that in short run monopolistically competitive firm behave like monopoly but with one perspective that it does have loss it makes loss as well in short run so let's see a very nice diagram here so you see when price is less than Every total cost that is called loss. Now let's talk about the law of run scenario. So, in long run, we saw that firms will enter the market or exit the market freely. There is a free entry and exit. So that rule is basically for competitive firm or perfectly competitive firm, all right? So which is the long run rule, right? So firms will enter or exit the market until nobody is making economic profit, until economic profit is equal to zero. So what is the entry condition? If price is greater than average total cost, they will enter the market. When price is less than average total cost, they will leave the market. So that is the entry condition. And that is the exit condition. Now let's see, in long run, what will happen? Price is equal to average total cost. So, how we will be making our graph Here. So where firms need to produce where MC is equal to MR 